Hi, this is Dr. A and this medical terminology um, on blood and the lymphatic and immune systems. We are going to look at the word parts for blood. So let's start with some blood combining forms. So agglutino is clumping, baso is base, chromo is color, coagulo is clotting, eosino is rosy red for eosinophils, Erythro is red, and you'll see it in erythrocytes. Fuso is pouring, and granulo is granules. Hemo and hemato are both blood. Morpho is shape, leuco is white, lipo is fat, and lympho is lymph. Um, here's going to be lymphocyte. Morpho is shape. Myelo means bone marrow or spinal cord, but in our case here, since we're talking about blood, it's going to be bone marrow. Neutro means neutral, and uh, we have that in neutrophils. Uh, phlebo is vein uh, for phlebotomy. This is how we get blood. Phago is to eat or swallow for phagocytosis. Sanguino is blood, and uh, septico is infection. So let's look at a few blood suffixes. Apheresis is the removal of something, so a plasma apheresis, a plasmapheresis is the removal of plasma from a uh, unit of blood or from a person. Uh, crit is separation of, so that uh, comes from the hematocrit blood test, um, which looks at the percentage of cells versus a uh, total volume of blood. Acidic is pertaining to cells and cytosis is when there are more than the normal number of cells. So like leukocytosis would be a high leukocyte count or high white count on the CBC. Emia refers to any blood condition, and we're going to see that a lot in the chapters that come uh, after this. Globin means protein, or is a type of protein anyway. Oid means resembling, and penia is an abnormal decrease. So if you have, for example, a leukopenia, that means there is not enough of the leukocytes or the white cells. Phil is attracted to, so neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, that's where you get the phil suffix. Philia is a condition of being attracted to, and philic is pertaining to being attracted to. Plastic is pertaining to formation, so um, as in the formation of blood cells. And plastin is formation, so is poesis. Uh, ragic means to pertaining to abnormal flow, so think hemorrhagic or uh, hemorrhage, so that's an abnormal flow of blood. It means losing a lot of blood. And stasis is standing still, and we have that in hemostasis, which is blood standing still, which is clotting or the stoppage of bleeding. Your blood prefixes, A and N both mean without. Anti is against, I like antibodies. Auto is self. Contra is against. Dis is abnormal. Homo is same and hyper is excessive. Hypo is insufficient. Mono is one. Pan means all, and usually referring to all the cells being increased or decreased, usually decreased. Poly is many, and trans means across, like a transfusion. So let's look at a few anatomical terms. We have basophilic, and it's pertaining to a white cell that attracts a basic pH stain. So your basophils actually have granules that stain really dark. Eosinophilic means pertaining to a white cell that attracts a rosy red stain, so those granules are rosy red, that is your eosinophil. Erythrocytic means pertaining to a red blood cell or an erythrocyte. Fibrinous means pertaining to having fibers, uh, and in our context here the fibers are the fibers from clotting, the fibrin that's uh, developed when a clot forms. Um, hematic means pertaining to blood, um, because hemato is blood. Leukocytic means pertaining to a white blood cell, so leuco means white. Lymphocytic, it means pertaining to a white blood cell that is formed with, uh, in lymphatic tissue, the lymphocyte. 
monocytic is pertaining to a white blood cell with a single large nucleus, which is a monocyte, also known as a macrophage if it's out of the circulation. Neutrophilic is pertaining to a white cell that attracts a neutral pH stain, which is a neutrophil. Sanguinous also means pertaining to blood. And then thrombocytic means pertaining to a clotting cell or platelets. So platelets, the medical term for platelets is thrombocyte. And thrombotic means pertaining to a clot. And that wraps up all of our uh, combining forms, prefixes, suffixes, and anatomical terms for the blood chapter.